I have made no secret that when it comes to boats and yachts, I have a passion for the sort of vessels that will take you through some of the worst sea conditions you will come across. When I served in the Royal Navy, this is one of the ships I served on, I remember ploughing through a Gale Force 12 storm off the coast of Scotland. There is just something magical about being on a boat on heavy seas. But of course, you have to be confident that the boat you are on will keep you and your family safe. This is the Nordhaven 96 and it is one of my favourite vessels in the Nordhaven range. Nordhaven have a reputation amongst serious seafarers around the world for their reliability and sea keeping capabilities. There are loads of things that I love about the N96. For example, I love the sweeping bow that flares out as you reach the very front of it. Vital for keeping sea spray to a minimum. I also love the Portuguese bridge and the forward raking windows. I also think that the position of the wheelhouse, which is situated midships, is excellent because it not only affords you greater protection in heavy seas, but it also ensures that you get a great view of what is ahead of you. The length overall of the Nordhaven 96 is 96 feet and 7 inches. She has a beam of 24 foot and can hold 7,000 gallons of fuel, which is around 26,500 litres. She is powered by ultra durable and ultra reliable twin Caterpillar C18 engines. She also has a captain's cabin, which is just aft of the pilot house. The master suite is located in the bow of the vessel, and she also has a crew quarters aft with three double guest cabins. As you would expect with a Nordhaven, her interior is finished to a very high specification throughout the entire vessel. If you are looking for a vessel that is under a 100 foot LOA and that is more than capable of visiting all four corners of the globe, then you cannot go wrong with the Nordhaven 96. Thanks for watching the video, please don't forget to give the video a like and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go. It's been great to see my subscriber numbers going up over the last couple of months and I really appreciate every one of you who takes the time to comment on one of my videos and who takes the time to actually subscribe to the channel. It spurs me on to create more videos every time I log on and see that more of you have subscribed. So if you do subscribe to my channel, then thanks.